Okay, so I got a venture out today. There's some rumors circulating around. And last time I tried to go in a store, the Divi Mart, I couldn't go in there because I didn't have a Corona mask. So I said, all right, well, I'll just go in there like this. And the ladies are like, no, 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 don't do that. So they're, they're advising this is uh, not a good look to go through a police or military checkpoint. So Fatima has donated Mm, damn. She's donated her Corona mask. He's a fucking Hello Kitty. To the cause. So, uh. I gotta go out, folks. Um. The, the, you don't, you don't want to believe any rumors. There's nothing real on the fucking internet. There's especially nothing real on Facebook. And I'm not spreading these rumors, so don't don't take my word for it that, that this is uh, what's going on. It's probably fake bullshit. But the ladies this morning said that you know rumors are circulating on uh, Facebook that there's a possibility that the banking system may be shut down. That's what they told me. I, that is not a fact. But you have to understand, the only reason I'm telling you this is, again, this is historic, sort of a historical record. And so I'm just going to tell you what, what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, what the rumors are. So you understand how the population are responding to certain things. So that's how I woke up this morning. I'm here. I'm in the same boat as everybody else as far as my freedom of movement. You know, I couldn't leave now if I wanted to. So when you listen to some of these, um, some of the rumors, you, you don't want to believe anything, but you you don't want to go out and buy every roll of toilet paper. That doesn't make sense. But as they tighten things down, you know you you do want to make sure you have a reasonable uh, supply to make it through the next two weeks. Now we are fine here. Uh, we we are fine. There's nothing wrong with our provisions here. We are fine. I don't have to leave this balcony if I don't want to. I can sit out here and start drinking. But with this information, and again, it's probably fake. And I don't want anybody accuse me of spreading this. Again, I'm just telling you what I was told. And the concerns are if they do shut those, you know, the banking system down, such, and such as Palawan Express, how people send money. You know, the ladies are concerned that, uh, you know, in a week or two weeks, there's no way for us to send their family some money to, to make it through this. So my mission today <clears throat> is to uh, get out to an ATM machine, pull some funds, then hit a Palawan and shoot the family some money early just in case that rumor is true. Uh, but again, I don't have any information of that. There's no news sources. I'm just telling you what the ladies have told me is circulating on Facebook, which, which they believe it. I don't believe anything on Facebook. Uh, but to put their mind at ease and to just go ahead and get this little mission out of the way, I'm rolling out. I talked to a couple of friends of mine, tricycle drivers, and I said, hey, I need to go up to Subic. Because my pass is a Subic pass. Uh, the last time I went to Barrio Barreto, which you know is right there over the hill across the river, there was too many questions and too much, uh, too many problems. So I could go there today and inquire. I can ask, hey, can I go to that ATM machine right there, you know, by 7-Eleven or at 7-Eleven? I can see it. But if they say, no, this is the boundary, I can't go through that checkpoint. And therefore I have to take a right, start humping it towards Subic Town, which is about 6.6 .6 kilometers. And the tricycle drivers, they said, look, man, I wanna take you. But what they said was, look, you're a foreign guy. If the police see us with a foreign guy, they know that you're not family. Because you can shut the tricycle down for commercial use, you know, cause all public transportation has been shut down but you can still use it for you and your family for private use. 
But what they're saying, look, they see the foreign guy in there. Uh, they obviously know you're not family unless I've produced a marriage license and I'm married to his daughter or something. And therefore, we don't want to take the risk taking you up there because they're they're going to impound tricycles. That's what they they've told us. Okay, so again, I'm not. I don't want to go try to change the river, go against the grain, but I do have a legitimate mission that I got to get out on. And I'm going to pick up some vegetables at the market up there. Uh, and if I do make it to Subic Town, and I am allowed to make it to Subic Town, I'm going to hit the market over there and try to find some seafood for the ladies, some shrimp. Okay, so enough talking. That's what I'm trying to do today. And I'll take you guys along and we'll see where I'm allowed to go. And again, information here is, uh, is difficult to come by in the Philippines. Accurate information is impossible. Not during these times, all the time. That's just the way it is here. And so to get 100% accurate information, I have to strap on these boots, strap on my backpack, and go. And when I run across the officials, I ask, can I go this way? Yes or no? Um, they say yes, I go that way. If they say no, okay, I turn around and go back. It's pretty simple. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, but again, I got a pass for Subic. Uh, you know, I will ask the, the officials, can I go to that ATM machine? And if, it, it's up to their judgment. Uh, if not, I'm prepared to walk about seven clicks from here, handle my business and clip it back. So I'm, I may be looking at a 20, 20 click hump and should be plenty of sorry sorry stores open on the route up there and the route back but if there's not i got a couple water bottles and uh i'm prepared to do it so join me folks if you're not a subscriber by the bottom right hand corner of your screen smash that overstay road sign get on board my channel food beer visas bad behavior right now i'm in the middle of a uh the luzon enhanced community enhanced community quarantine a 14-day home lockdown six months state of calamity metro manila lockdown i'm coming to you from the philippines and just trying to share for the historical record you know what we're doing during this pandemic with the chinese bat research virus all right let's go all right folks i'm rolling out today is friday I never know what day it is, so I'll have to put it down below in the description or on this video. But I'm rolling out, and I just dropped off my water. The water station is still open. I'm getting that resupplied. But I'm in kind of like a moral dilemma. Sort of moral dilemma with the tricycle situation. And it's gonna take a long time to explain it where you understand it fully. Okay, look, the, the tricycles aren't supposed to be running. It's public transportation, it's shut down. But I told you after a few days of totally shutting down, they just, they got no money. They can't fucking not get out and try to hustle. I understand it and I feel for them. But technically they're not supposed to be taking passengers. They can. You know take their family and use the tricycle for themselves and for personal business but they're not supposed to be taking passengers right <clears throat> so that's that's fact number one and well fact number two okay everybody knows hello my friends how are you you guys doing okay all right good to see you and we got some mobile delivery of fresh vegetables here with this tricycle. And let me take a break and I'll get back to what I was talking about. Okay, so like that gentleman that just passed, he's got a sign over that says temporary private. So you can use your tricycle, your jeepney, whatever you want to use. You can use it for your personal use. Even if you got a jeepney, you just close the back door. It says for private use only. And you can drive that jeepney <clears throat> wherever you're allowed to go and use it for private use you cannot pick up passengers okay so those are the parameters right now but again 
you know you've got some people that are hurting for money and they're out running so i call my buddy i won't name no names and i asked him i said hey man i gotta go to the atm machine uh western union palawan whatever i gotta handle some banking business which is within my parameters of what i can do i got my pass and i said you know i need to go to subic town and he said look man you know i'm sorry but i can't take you up there he said if the police see you as a passenger because you're a foreign guy they obviously know we're not family and they're going to impound my tricycle now if you want to get technical i'm sure if i had a marriage license to show him where i was married to his daughter then you could claim okay it's it's personal business right it's family business <clears throat> but we, why, we don't want to take that chance and he, he doesn't want to take that chance getting his tricycle impounded now i understand that and i don't want to take that chance because if if i'm riding with my buddy and we go through a checkpoint and because they know i'm a foreign guy and i'm not family and they impound his shit well guess who feels responsible who is responsible i mean you can say it's 50 50 he knew he knew the risk when he took me took me up there and how are you my friends hello good morning good morning good morning so you could you could argue and say hey man it's 50 50 that dude knew the risk he's trying to make some money it's his problem or it's 50 50. come on folks if somebody somebody's working and they're trying to make you know five bucks you know i'm gonna cover that that's just that's the way i am i'm not gonna lose sleep at night because i caused the man's tricycle to get impounded so if it got impounded i'd have to pay to get it out i'd have to pay the fines and i could potentially be out some money so when we talked about it i said you know what fuck that i'm man yeah i understand stay home i ain't riding with you matter of fact cancel that request because I'm not going to be responsible if we, we go out and we get your shit impounded. So. So you understand the parameters, right? Some people are out running. And, you know, I leave the house and, you know, people are hurting for money right now. So like, sir, sir, you know, you want to ride? You want to ride? I'm like, no, thank you. I said, man, I'm, I tell them I'm exercising. And legitimately, when this shit ain't going on, that's what I do. I exercise. I don't want to take a ride because I want to walk. But today, the reason I'm declining rides is because I don't want to be responsible for getting anybody into trouble. I don't want that liability on my back. If they take the man's trike, then you know what i feel compelled you know to get it back and that, that could cost me some bucks cost me some issues with the cops i'm not into that as long as i've got my pass and the fact that i've contracted these two mo and joe right here left and right i'm not violating nothing and i got no liability on my ass but if i get one of these tricycles at this point morning 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 if I get one of these tricycles at this point and we hit the wrong checkpoint, run into the wrong officer on the wrong day, they have the right to impound your your trike for uh, you know using it for public transportation. So you see the quagmire. The quagmire is yeah, I know people are hurting for money. You know, begging me to get in. Hey, just let me just take you. Let me just take you. They'll, they'll sit here and ride alongside me for five minutes. I'm like, no, thank you, my friend. I'm really, I just got to get some exercise. I'm just going up here. I'm making excuses. I'm trying not to hurt their feelings because they need money. But I'm not getting in that trike right now and causing that man to lose it and get in trouble with the cops. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not, I'm not going to accept that liability. It's not going to happen. Okay, so we hit checkpoint number one. That's a Barangay checkpoint. They got like four or five personnel there checking temperatures. Yeah, so, uh, so I think I've already demonstrated the reason why I'm not going to get into the tricycle right now. I mean, that's a new tri that's a new checkpoint that popped up. And what's going to be my excuse when I'm riding in some guy's track that I don't know? And the answer is there is no excuse. You know, if you're Filipino, okay, you can say, yeah, this is my cousin. How the fuck they know? You're not carrying papers around and say you're your cousins. They see a fucking gringo up in the trike. They know you're a commercial passenger. And then the questions begin. So fuck that. I don't give a damn if I got to walk. You know, seven clicks up there, seven clicks back. Uh, my ass is not getting in a tricycle. That's it. Made my final decision. Okay, so walk to the market area. See what's going on at the market here at Sawmill. Just to avoid any questioning from anybody or the police, I'm putting my mask on. Got my Hello Kitty fucking COVID-19 protection unit. Because you do got the police up here. You got the brown guy folks. All right, so plenty, plenty of fish, plenty of fish, plenty of vegetables, bananas. Even the shoe, my lady, is open. Okay. All right, so plenty of vegetables. But my question is, folks, my problem is I don't know where the nearest ATM machine is going this direction. And you may know And you know what, I'll just, I'll just step it out I'll just step it out, I don't feel like talking to the cops over there at the checkpoint right now Hello, how are you? I'm Are you okay? Not cool, they say I'm okay Folks, I just ran into uh, Faye Let me keep my social distancing I'm looking for an ATM machine. Oh. Do you know if there's one this way or only in Subic Town? Only Subic Town, sir. Jeep. Oh, very, of course. Sir. The, Jeep, the Jeeps are running or no? Jeep. So there, there's a Jeep shuttle that goes yeah. to Subic? Yeah. Is that where you're going? Here. Are you going to Subic? No, sir. No. I... Okay, just. Okay, folks, so I ran into Faye, and apparently there, there is a shuttle, there is a shuttle that goes up to Subic. I don't know how often it runs, but there's supposedly a shuttle or a jeepney that runs to Subic, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask if I can cross the Barrio Barreto and do my business. If they say no, I won't go. All right, folks, so... Right, I'm actually glad I'm, I did go over there to the checkpoint, talk to them. Let me get past these folks. All 
Okay, so I, I did get past, I did go to the checkpoint. I did talk to the officials and, you know, I just told them. You know, I said, hey, I live, I live on this side, but it'd be nice. Well, I didn't say it'd be nice, I just asked. I said, I live on the Subic side, but I need to go to an ATM machine. I need to go to Palawan Express to send my wife's family some money. The guys on this side, the, the guys on this side of the bridge are basically responsible for the inbound traffic to Subic. And they said, basically, you have to ask, ask the officials down there. They didn't want to make the judgment call. I said, okay. So I talked to them. And they said, no, sir, you're, you're only good for the Subic side. You can't enter a long a pole. I said, okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, so that's it. There's no more Barrio Barreto trips. And that's the word on the street. But you wouldn't know that. You don't know that unless you get out and physically go talk to people and find out the information. Um... And so that's what I was just told. So my pass is a Subic pass. And I'm on the Subic side, so I'm well within. My parameters of where I'm allowed to roam for, uh, you know, food and banking business. And for the historical record, folks, the, the, the soldiers and the police at the checkpoint, they're friendly as hell. Shout out to them dudes. I mean, them, those guys are on the front lines of this shit. You know, they'll be the first ones to uh, to get infected because they're seeing everybody coming through there. You know, and that used to be me. I used to be a young nobody. And I'm not saying they're nobodies. I'm, I'm saying I was a young, uh, you know, basically E1 police officer taking orders. And, Standing out there directing traffic. I've done what they're doing before. That type of work. So my, my heart goes out to them dudes standing out there in that fucking heat all day. Coming in contact with hundreds, thousands of people. And I know they're they're concerned for their health. I got it. But they they were very friendly to me and very friendly to the other. Very friendly to the other citizens. There's a Cebuana. And so I'm just reporting that the interactions between the government and the citizens, still positive. Still positive, they're just doing their job. So shout out to them. Shout out to the cops and the military and young soldiers, young, young officers. Um, you know, appreciate you doing what you're doing. I know you got a hard job. Uh, so, I've never really paid attention to whether wh whether or not there's an ATM machine between here and Subic. I've just never paid attention to that. And I know the 7-Eleven up by the White Rock, that's a good potential that they may have, they may have uh, an ATM machine. Again, you've got you've got folks moving around, but if I go and get my ass into one of these trikes, I just don't want to feel responsible if if uh, we run into the police and I'm not supposed to be in that trike. But as long as I'm walking, I got no worries, folks. I got no worries, no liability. I got a pass. I got fucking boots on, I got a can-do attitude. Rocking a badass backpack. And I got until 5 p.m. to get my ass back to the house. That's plenty of time to motherfucking hump 20 clicks. I ain't worried about it. These dudes working on a trash truck, making sure that a trash collection keeps going. Shout out to these gentlemen right here. Damn, they got a rough job. Damn, they got a rough job. That poor gentleman on the top ain't got no gloves on. Feel sorry for him. 
I had my pair of extra pair of gloves with me, I didn't give it to him, but I ain't got none in my backpack. My love-hate relationship with this GoPro Hero 8 continues. You know, occasionally you push the button, nothing fucking happens. You gotta pull the silicone case off, pop the battery out, pop it back in, get the damn thing back online to work. And GoPro, stop fucking developing new features and get your fucking shit together on reliability. All right, so I'm right here, just for reference, at the Mata N, Matane Elementary School. And I'm coming up on uh, the turnoff, the White Beach Resort. And this is 7-Eleven. Maybe there's an ATM machine in that 7-Eleven, but that's only half the mission to get that money shot out uh, via Palawan. Now look, if I can't find a Palawan, I'm going to back off and punt. And I'm going to shoot it to them Western Union. But here in the Philippines, if if you ask somebody, they, they prefer you to send a Palawan. It's just a lot easier. They ask less questions. There's usually a Palawan very close to their house. And then sometimes, you know, they might find a difficulty uh, uh, finding a Western Union. Or at least that's my experience. They always want you to send a Palawan. Or uh, what the hell is the other one? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop in the 7-Eleven, get me a drink, see what's available on the shelves. Could be some damn liquor up in there. Could be a liquor resupply run. Could be. Let's see what they got to offer. All right, so the uh, the entrance over here to White Rock is blocked off. No ID, no entry. It's obviously closed. Several people asked me, sir, where are you going? I was told 7-Eleven. But I don't think there's an ATM machine in here. Click machine is temporarily offline. Detention starting 8 to 5. Temporary closed for civilians. Open for frontliners only. So I can't go in there because I'm not a frontliner. Alright, so I keep pushing. Fucking keep pushing north. And you know what, folks? There ain't nobody to blame for my predicament uh, than me. I mean, everybody said, man, why don't you buy a motorbike? Why don't you buy a bicycle? Well, because who the fuck would think a pandemic would come around and shut down public transportation? But my first uh my first opportunity i will buy a fucking bicycle i should have already had a bicycle because i like the bicycle but in my first opportunity i'm getting me a damn bicycle and then this route this will be an easy run up here and again if i'm walking there's no liability people ask me where are you going well i'm fucking walking because there's no, there's no public transportation. That's so like a fucking dumb question. Why are you walking, sir? Well, no fucking public transportation. Supposedly. I don't want nobody to get their ass in trouble because I, I got to go handle my business. All right, so what I was going to say... No, that, that was a Navy truck that just passed. But what I was going to say is that even though they said there's a shuttle to come up here, I have not passed the first jeepney that said anything about a shuttle. There was a shuttle that said frontliners only. In other words, you know, people work in the checkpoints. So I did not see, I have not seen any fucking shuttle. So all those people down there waiting, they're still waiting. They are still waiting for a shuttle that may or may not come. Maybe it will come. I don't know. But sitting here walking down this road, I ain't past no, no jeepney. That's a public shuttle for people to come up to Subic. 
So I, I don't like to sit around and wait. I'd rather take some action. And in this case, it's paying off. Okay, so these little these little side streets going into these little barangays, they have guards there and it says no pass, no entry. So I guess in addition, my pass just says Subic. But their uh, their signs say no quarantine pass, no entry. So I guess they're giving them out even more locally I don't know well, I mean here's the thing it's the other thing I want to talk about if you got money you got a vehicle this shit don't affect you too much See, this shuttle right here says for frontliners only. Got some people in the back with some buckets. Looks like they had fish in them buckets. I don't think they're frontliners, unless they're considering the uh, the vendors as frontliners. I guess they would be. Like I said, folks, as long as I'm walking, I'm in control with no liability. Easy day. Okay, so next to this Red Doors, the propane shop is open. Obviously, the Red Doors Hotel is closed. Let's see, across the way, there's another sign. It says, no pass, no entry. They got dudes man in every entry and exit to this brown guy on the right. Church closed up. Iglesia ni Cristo. And you got the water the water station over here is open. You got this got to stay open. You got a little sorry sorry store. Don't bite me dog. You bite me, I can't get to the hospital. Okay, so Here's a Palawan pawn shop. That's where I need to go, right there. So Palawan is open. Cebuana is open. And typically... Uh, there's always a line at these places, especially on Fridays, paydays. You know, peak times. Today is Friday. So even if I can find this uh, ATM, back here to that Palawan and stay my ass in line and folks I'm, I'm willing to weather the hardship minor seniors or uh, buntis which is pregnant but that brown guy right there is not letting you in i don't see how they're doing that but it said it said no minors no seniors and no pregnant can't come in there here's western union right up here Let's see if the western union is still open
pickup truck said uh said free shuttle it's, uh, said free wrong guy somebody shuttle so i don't know if the wrong guy captain does, has uh, designated some private vehicles i don't know but that was nice then there might be one of my wrong guys that i'm not aware of i don't care I'm pushing north. Here you go. Beautiful. Subic Bay out there. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to be walking. Hello, how are you? Okay. It's all these little these little beach areas here it's sad to see them shut down it's a family business I'm sure fucking zero income coming in now this is a little beach where you can come here and rent behind kubos spend a day at the beach and folks where i'm at i'm i'm topping the hill coming up on uh that fucker on that bicycle and i say that lovingly if I had a goddamn mountain bike, I'd have been to Subic and back by now. My lack of preparation for fucking pandemics. No bicycle. Anyhow, coming up on uh, uh, two in two scuba where we eat the bulolo. Up here at the top of this hill. Still pushing. Pushing north. Oh shit. 103. Fucking come wide into my lane, brother. Once you get these red wing boots broke in, I mean, at first I made the comment, maybe you don't want to, you know, march 26 miles in them or climb mountains. But now that these boots are broke in, holy shit, love these motherfuckers. They're taking me in this backpack on down the road and them dogs ain't even barking. Them dogs are riding nice in them boots. All right, so here we are coming up on the Two and two resort. This is where we eat the bulalo. As soon as uh, the fucking world hits the play button on this goddamn Chinese bat research virus, I will be the first customer back here to get some bulalo for me and the ladies. Okay, so people ask me, are the fishing boats still going out? Well, the answer was had to be yes, because there's fish at the markets. And as I look out across here, there's a bunch of bunch of little boats out there. So it looks like the fishermen's uh, operations have not been impeded. That's good to know. Uh, even the, the small boats are out there. So that's a good deal. Yeah, but right here, here's our two and two beach resort locked up tighter than a drum. Shout out to these folks here. Uh, losing money like the rest of the world. All right, so folks, I, I crested this hill and now I'm kind of on the downhill slope, pushing, pushing north into Subic Town. Ain't nothing gonna stop me now. Except a checkpoint. But far I can see, folks, I got I got fucking clear, smooth sailing. If I swap over to the right side of the road, I'd have some shade. Maybe that's what I'd do. Back on a bicycle. My goodness. Yeah, so one thing about the shuttle, folks, you know, the rumor was down there, there was a shuttle up here. That's what Faye told me, there's a shuttle. But I'm just going to tell you that the only fucking jeepney that has passed me, I'm, I'm well 30, I'm about 45 minutes into this walk probably, had a sign that said for frontliners only. When I went to 7-Eleven, it said we are not open to civilians, frontliners only. So I don't know what the rumor is down there at Sawmill or, you know, if, if people, if there is a shuttle, I don't know. I can just tell you the facts. That's the only Jeep me that's passed my ass since I've been going. So if there's a shuttle, it may not run. I, I, I don't know. I'm just telling you facts. That's the facts. I, I'm glad I took off walking or I'd still be standing around down there among that uh, line of people. I'd rather fucking walk. And take matters into my own hands and dog please don't fucking bite me 
please just go about your merry way all right on a downhill slope pushing north hey note to self don't put your your uh quarantine pass in a pocket right here and then go walk seven kilometers in the hot philippine sun because i just sweat on that damn thing so bad all the ink is smeared i mean hopefully you can still read what the hell it says my dumb ass had it in this pocket and i'm sweating it fucked it up <laughs> dumb ass move on my part Closer to Subi Town, let's see these bars right here. Old bars. And more people milling about. The Western Union up on my right, but I don't. Or the sign, I don't think it's open though. This is where, where all these big jokey bars, karaoke bars, whatever you want to call them, resto bars. No, that sign, that's a Western Union sign, but there ain't no Western Union there. This little area right here, I think all these old buildings that like half process of half tearing them down, half uh, restoring them. Those damn buildings been around. Probably some of you dudes from your old Navy days, you were. You were hanging out up in this little strip of buildings right here. If you were the adventurous, came up here to Subic Town back when it was off limits. You know those buildings. Still pushing north. And again, no shortage of uh, propane. Propane places are open. You can uh, get gas to cook with, no problem. Still pushing north. A little more activities. We get closer, closer to Subic Town. So there's a Palawan pawn shop over here, Palawan Express, and I see a guard. So I'm making the assumption that it's open. Let me check the lines over here. This is next to the Frontier Gun Stop. There's several people hanging out. It's probably open. Yeah, it's open and uh, it's a full house, but folks, that's typical for the Philippines. You know, you hit these places like that, they're always crowded. Always crowded. That's why if you're in Barreto, I recommend you go to that Banco de Mexico, Banco Mexico, next to Cheap Charlie's. It's an indoor place, it's aircon, where you can, uh, you know, write your paperwork without sweating all over it. And there's never a line in there. Um, I don't know why the locals don't use it more. But if you're trying to send any money from Barreto to the left of Cheap Charlie's, that's where I recommend you go. Save you time. Still pushing. All right. Just observations, like the few people that I've seen walking around. They got like a kilo of rice and oil. Now I'm not saying that's out of the ordinary. But it just seems like more and more people, that's the only thing they're carrying. I'm not sure what they got in these bags. Looks like potato chips. Oh, chocolate, snacks. Got a little, little store right there. 
Oh, it's almost into Subi Town, right by that Inisol, Mong Inisol sign past it. That's the uh, city hall, where the post office is. Point at the bridge. It looks like a checkpoint, I'm not sure. Went ahead and mask up with my Hello Kitty mask just to be safe. Well, we do got some folks checking here. Like from the Baranga. But I got my pass, got my mask. Stepping it out. Oh man, I guess we want the BTI. Okay folks, so that's the BTI. Uh, I'm assuming that's for the ATM. So many people there. Let me push up here, see if I can find a BDO. But I guess what my I guess what my strategy is just push as far as I can get. And then start trying to hit ATMs on the way back. That might be a reverse strategy, but also I'm also looking for you know a Palawan that's not packed out. And I also want to see if I can get over there to the Subic Market and load down this backpack with some vegetables for the hump back. So I'm just gonna come around this corner past City Hall to see if I've got any options here. Uh, this is just word. If, if you're listening to my voice and you're anywhere in the Philippines and you're a foreigner, you better go to the ATM machine now, sooner than later. Don't wait. Okay, so coming here, we got a Palawan, MoneyGram, uh, no ATM machine. Shit, there are about 12, at least 12 people in the room. And we got a line here. Or is this a line? It's a line for some. Okay, so that's that's the line to get into Super Savers. So there's probably uh, 25 people waiting to get in line at the grocery store there. All right, I'm pushing. Check the Metro Bank. Probably gonna be offline. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, snap, no entry. See if it's a line for the ATM. Line. I'm not waiting in that line. I'm gonna keep pushing. Shit, here's a BDO right here. Five bucks says it's offline. Thank you. No money. So voila, on the ATM machine, no money. Yeah, that's a USFC service store. Everybody's in line for this guy. The folks.
folks there there you have it the lines the lines to get money are long the one ATM machine is out of money voila and I may be walking in this direction uh, for no fucking reason but I don't know if the Walter Mart is open if that Walter Mart is open they got ATMs in there got this PS Bank PS Bank is uh got ATM machines and it's offline offline my friend is, is the Walter Mart open is open thank you very much sir. thank you that's good news. If that Walter Mart is open, I should be able to get up in there and get a tune out of a trombone. Pushing north. Northern side, far side of, uh, of Subic Town. I had about six people waiting in line at the Fresh Options meat shop. Parking lot's packed out. And there's a line to get up in here. to get in everywhere all right coming up on a second checkpoint i may not be able to make it to walter mark walter mark way in the distance that yellow building i don't know if you can see it probably not with a gopro but it looks like i'm about to get questioned again my friends but it's okay because i got my pass i got my id i'm good to go Got my mask, got my boots strapped on. Who the hell is tight? You gotta go through checkpoints to get the wall to mark. Where's the world coming to? Cross over the road. We got the Walter Mart in sight. Closing in on it. Damn, I guess what I need to do. There you go. Make sure it's on. I guess what I need to do is just flag one of these dudes down on a bicycle and buy buy the bicycle from him. I mean, how much you want for that bicycle? He buy that from you. I'll tell you, if you were a bicycle salesman right now, and you could be open, you'd probably sell the hell out of some bicycles. A little roadside watermelon stand right here. I could pick up some watermelons. Nice looking watermelons there. Probably fit three. Nah, I say two. Two in this pack. Those are some big ass watermelons. All right, folks, I'm up. I'm up on the Walter Mart now. Security in here pinched me before for filming, even though every Filipino was out here, you know, holding their phone upright, taking Facebook video. But I've explained that dynamic before. You post anything on Facebook, but if they think you're YouTube and you got problems, you see how long the fucking line is to get into this place. That's going to determine whether or not I'll be going up in there. Got to be a line. Why would it not be, right? Okay, protection measures against the coronavirus. Holy fuck, are you kidding me? It's 
to all the people waiting to get in this thing. Well, that was a gamble that did not pay off, my friends. That was a gamble that did not pay off for me. Walked all the way here. And this is normally where the tricycle terminal is, but this is the line uh, to get up in here. Well, what happens if, if you go around back? All right, so we got we got ATM machines. Okay, got two BDOs up here. All right, this may have paid off. There's two BDOs. How long is the line? The line appears to be. Oh my goodness! There's a thing for 10, 20. That's 30 people deep. 30 people. Looks to be 30 people uh, deep. Uh, let me check it out. Maybe not. Maybe these folks are trying to do some mercury drugs. Is this, is this the end of the line for the ATM? Yeah. Right here? Okay. There's all them folks waiting to get in here. These, these lines on the ground right here. Can you see them? For, uh, I can't see them. For social distancing. So I was able to get a, I was able to get a tune out of that trombone at the end of the Walmart at that BDO. Now listen, there's two cash machines there. Only one is working. Coming through Subic, I experienced, you know, you saw them long lines. Offline, no money. Uh, starting to get, uh, starting to get real. what the dude just said but he's got a bullhorn over there they're only letting so many people in at a time you can understand that but realize uh the fucking lines uh basically barrio barreto is a ghost town and subic is a flurry of activity so if you're on the barrio barreto side you better be thinking your lucky stars that uh that you're over on that side of the river life is much easier for you there up here, the motherfucking lines and some of the ATM machines out of money. So if you're over, if you're over in Barrio Barreto, I recommend you keep your ass there. Don't come across that river; you might not get back. Hello, how are you? Just give me some onions here. So, ain't gonna lie, it's a hot one today. Ain't no telling how bad I sunburnt my head and my ears, but got through the little local checkpoint. You know, taking temperatures, clipboards, looking at passes, doing what they're supposed to do. But I think people really have a false sense uh, that wearing these masks are gonna save you. I'm not saying that I'm not telling anybody don't wear a mask I'm just saying that it's it's just like people don't understand how germs are transmitted especially in places like the Philippines they, they don't um, you know I'm constantly teaching my old lady about germ transmission Reliant 
and confident if they're wearing a mask. But then they'll come in from being out and about and start eating a piece of chicken without washing their hands. I don't know. I'm just talking out loud. Some of my thoughts. So if you're in Barrio Barreto, be thankful that you're in Barreto. And I will not complain about the line of three people at the Bismarck anymore. After going to Subic Town and looking at those lines. But unfortunately, I can't get over the bridge anymore to Barrio Barreto. So that's what I did. Just went up there, had a tune out of that trombone, came back to my vegetable market. <laughs>